morning, Percy. Did I tell you about the time I dug up a whole hoard of Roman coins? Uh, I think you have, Marion. Sorry. <coughs> I've got traps to deliver. Bye. Express coming through! Look out! Stop! Oh! Watch where you're swinging that shovel of yours, Marion. Gordon, let me tell you the story of the time I unearthed the fossil of a woolly mammoth. Not today, thank you. The Express waits for no story. No appreciation for good old-fashioned dirt, that engine. Marion had nearly finished repairing the embankment when Thomas arrived. And he loved hearing Marion's stories. Thomas! Hello, Marion. You never finished telling me about the time you dug up that treasure chest. Oh, yes. It was a few years ago in a very interesting area of gravel, and all of a sudden I dug up some pirate treasure. Wow. There were rubies and emeralds and a giant diamond as big as your... Ooh. Goodness gracious me. I found something. Do you know what this is, Thomas? It looks like a water pipe. <laughs> <laughs> a pipe? Nonsense! This is a mast from a Viking longship! I'm pretty sure it's a pipe. Anyway, I'll see you later, Marion. I've got to go. Yes, yes, I'm quite sure of it. Oh, marvellous mud! What a discovery! <laughs> Oh, it is a water pipe. Nothing a good shovel full of mud can't fix. That night, Duck stayed at Tidmouth Sheds so he could help with all the extra passengers in the morning. Evening all. Hello, Duck. Nice to see you. Oh, no. Not that old fuddy-duddy. Duck liked to talk about the old days when he worked on the Great Western Railway. <laughs>